Hello, passionate Sailtic FC fans. This is Sailtic Central News, your exclusive source for Sailtic updates. Before we kick off, we appreciate the incredible support. If you love Sailtic, subscribe now, hit like, and let's build this community together. Now, on to the latest news, a warm welcome to new subscribers. Your support is crucial. Hail, hail! In recent years, Celtic Park has seen a whirlwind of activity regarding centre-backs, leading to a roster that frequently changes. Players like Nat Phillips, Gustav Lagerbielka, and Yuki Kobayashi have all experienced brief tenures, leaving fans to wonder what the future holds for the team's defensive lineup. Among those who joined and subsequently departed during Angie Postacogla's tenure was Moritz Jens, a towering defender once nurtured in Fulham's Youth Academy. In the summer of 2022, Jens arrived on loan from Lorien, stepping in to provide much-needed support for the established duo of Carter Vickers and Karl Starfelt. His temporary stint saw him making 19 appearances across competitions and even finding the net twice, showcasing his potential. Pundit Michael Stewart drew comparisons between Jens and former Celtic favourite Christopher Jullian, highlighting the expectations surrounding the German's arrival. Frank McAvenny referred to Jens as a no-nonsense player, and the defender himself described his time at Celtic as a dream, despite the brevity of his adventure. Fans couldn't help but wonder what might have been had circumstances played out differently. However, Jens found it challenging to displace the first-choice pairing of Carter Vickers and Star Felt. With the arrival of Kobayashi in January, Jens' opportunities dwindled, leading to his lone move to Schalke at the start of 2023. This decision ultimately paved the way for a permanent transfer to Wolfsburg later that year. Now at 25 years old, Jens is currently on loan at Mainz, where he has started the last five league games, indicating that he is thriving away from Celtic Park. His current market value has soared to €7.5 million, Euros, £6.3 million, outpacing other players in the same position, like Trusty, who is valued at €7 million, Euros, £5.8 million. While Celtic's manager Brendan Rodgers may be satisfied with the options available in defence, it's intriguing to contemplate how different things could have been had Jens remained longer in Glasgow. His hints at a possible future return suggest that the story of Moritz Jens at Celtic Park may not be entirely over. Could fans one day see him donning the hoops again? Only time will tell. Before we proceed, subscribe to our channel and enable notifications to receive all exclusive news about Celtic FC. Don't miss any details about your favourite team. It's extremely important for Celtic FC fans. In a surprising turn of events, Stuart Kettlewell, the manager of Motherwell, has ignited a heated debate in Scottish football after his recent comments regarding Celtic. In a video that quickly circulated on social media, Kettlewell was seen expressing his thoughts on the club's performance, drawing sharp criticism and raising eyebrows among fans and analysts alike. The 39-year-old manager, known for his candidness, appeared unfazed by the backlash as he delved into his views on Celtic's tactics and team dynamics, prompting many to wonder what might have triggered such bold statements. Kettlewell's remarks have not only put him in the spotlight but have also reignited the age-old rivalry between Motherwell and Celtic. During his interview, he suggested that Celtic's recent struggles were indicative of deeper issues within the squad. They have quality players, no doubt, but it seems there's something amiss, Kettlewell stated, leaving viewers eager for clarification on his assessment. The comments have sparked debate, with many fans questioning whether Kettlewell was merely stating the obvious or attempting to provoke his rivals. The fallout from Kettlewell's comments has been swift. Social media platforms have exploded with reactions, ranging from those defending Celtic's recent form to ardent supporters of Motherwell who see Kettlewell's remarks as a rallying cry. Football pundits have jumped into the fray, analysing the potential ramifications of his statements on upcoming matches and the psychological dynamics at play. Celtic supporters have taken to forums, expressing both outrage and amusement at Kettlewell's audacity, while others see it as a tactic to motivate his own players. As the dust settles, many are left wondering how Celtic's management and players will respond to Kettlewell's comments. Will they choose to dismiss the remarks as mere chatter from a rival coach, or will they feel compelled to use this as motivation for their upcoming fixtures? 
the narrative around this rivalry is becoming increasingly intriguing, especially with critical matches on the horizon. Stuart Kettlewell's personality is as multifaceted as his journey through the world of football. Known for his down-to-earth demeanor and approachable nature, Kettlewell has earned the respect of players and staff alike. His communication style is characterized by openness and honesty, traits that have helped him forge strong relationships within his teams. This approach not only fosters a positive environment but also allows players to feel comfortable sharing their thoughts and concerns, contributing to a cohesive squad dynamic. However, Kettlewell's candidness can sometimes be a double-edged sword. While his straightforwardness resonates with many, it can also lead to controversy, as evidenced by his recent comments about Celtic. He thrives on intensity and is unafraid to speak his mind, which sets him apart from more reserved coaches. This boldness can galvanize his players, instilling a sense of confidence and determination as they take to the pitch. Kettlewell's willingness to challenge the status quo makes him a unique figure in Scottish football, often pushing his teams to exceed their limits. Kettlewell's tactical acumen is matched by his genuine passion for the game. He is not only a strategist but also a mentor who invests time in developing young talent. This nurturing aspect of his personality is particularly evident in his commitment to Motherwell's Youth Academy. Kettlewell believes in providing opportunities for promising players to shine, and his supportive nature fosters a culture of growth. This dedication has been pivotal in nurturing a new generation of players who can make an impact in Scottish football. Moreover, Kettlewell's resilience in the face of adversity reflects his tenacious spirit. Having experienced the highs and lows of managerial life, he understands that setbacks are part of the journey. His ability to remain focused and motivate his players during challenging times has proven invaluable. Kettlewell's experience as a player informs his coaching style, allowing him to empathize with his squad and guide them through tough patches. This blend of passion, honesty, and resilience not only shapes Kettlewell as a manager but also as a beloved figure in the Scottish football community. In the wake of Kettlewell's bold assertions, all eyes will be on both Motherwell and Celtic in the coming weeks. The stage is set for an electrifying showdown, where words may have consequences on the pitch. With both teams eager to prove themselves, fans and neutrals alike will be watching closely to see how this verbal spat unfolds in the high-stakes environment of Scottish football. Will Kettlewell's comments fuel Motherwell's quest for glory, or will Celtic emerge even stronger in response? Only time will tell. Hello, fan! Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, as it means a lot to Celtic FC. Also, share your opinion about the news in the comments below. See you in the next video.